It's not easy to speak to the camera. I know that. I've been there, done that. So if you're one of those people who feels somewhat uncomfortable in the presence of the camera, any camera, whether it's a small camera or a TV camera, this vlog, which I'm just starting now, might be for you. A little bit of background, I'll try and keep it short and succinct. There are a couple of reasons why I eventually decided to start this vlog, but it's taken me actually two years from the initial idea to actually doing it. I did some planning in my head, but eventually I decided to improvise. And this first episode is going to be completely improvised without any notes, without any proper background work or research. I decided to do this vlog because of the road I've traveled myself in public speaking. I started from the position where I was really vulnerable, I would say shy, uh, with a strong sense of an inferiority complex um, attached to just about any public speaking situation. And I remember all those milestones, which uh, when we go back in our memories, we always think of as either the toughest, the most formative, transformative moments in our careers, if you like, as public speakers. So let's start properly. My name is Łukasz Cioch. For the last more or less 10 years, I've worked as a public speaking coach, lecturer, uh, MC, for those of you who don't know who that is, master of ceremonies, someone who facilitates and creates a cohesive sense of whatever happens on the stage at conferences, congresses, etc. Even fashion shows, festivals, concerts. Who is this vlog going to be for? It's going to be for essentially two types of people. Those who have always felt that public speaking is not for them, for whatever reason. That they don't have the talent, they don't have the skill, they don't have the looks, they don't have the natural charisma to do it well. Uh, this vlog will try to prove to you that it doesn't work like that. And secondly, this vlog is also going to be for professionals, those who already think they're absolutely fantastic, great, they're doing a fantastic job. The single most important trap of public speaking is when you eventually end up in that place where you think you're so freaking awesome, that's where problems start. That's where you become annoying, potentially irritating for a variety of audiences, especially the more demanding members of your audiences who will think there is something, if not wrong, something annoying about you. So that's the second category. And how I'm going to do it, I will do my best to record a variety of improvised, more or less spontaneous episodes based on my background and experience and also take you to a couple of places, conferences, congresses, let you see the backstage, uh, help you understand the pitfalls that you could avoid just by seeing things explained before they happen in your, in your own life. But if you can think back and remember a situation where you were asked, invited to, or simply agreed for whatever reason to stand on any given stage, whether it was a, an audience of 10 or it was an audience of 10,000. Uh, these are obviously two different audiences, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of our discussion here. You remember that moment, you remember how you felt where you first stood in, in front of an audience, especially a large audience, and you, you probably remember what a shock it would have been for you uh, as far as your body responds to this situation physiologically, what happens on a purely physiological level, what kind of body language re reactions the audience can see and come to an immediate conclusion that you're very nervous, your voice is trembling, uh, your hands are sweaty, you're making all those unusual movements and jitters, and you find breathing is a little bit harder than it normally is, and you feel cold sweat pouring down your back, and you only hope that, that everything is going to go well and the audience is not going to see that about you. So that's what this vlog is going to be about. If you find any of such or any other relevant related content useful in any way for you, uh, it would be helpful if you 
motivates me a little by sharing a comment or two or just saying what kind of particular areas of public speaking would be interesting for you as, a, as an episode on this vlog. I decided to call this vlog Public Speaking Black and White. We all know there are lots and lots of shades of meaning in public speaking, but the reason I decided to call it Black and White is because I will try and do my best to keep it as raw, as unedited, as simple and as lifelike, if you like, as possible. So I hope you will enjoy the future episodes and stay tuned.